What's up guys and girls, couple of personal news. Hello folks, uh, I just wanted to share a couple of personal things as well as a few tips and tricks. So I'm going to Spain for work. If you're watching this video, that means I'm in Spain. Uh, so I have to go through the COVID test and all that stuff. Uh, so hopefully uh, you guys get to watch this video because like I said, if you're watching this video, that means all my testing, COVID testing went through and I made it to the Spain. So I came to Spain for work. I'll be here for a week. Uh, if you want to see my travels behind the scenes, check out my Instagram. Uh, also, another big personal news is I'll be speaking in this year's reInvent. Uh, so reInvent is the biggest cloud conference ever with more than 55,000 people attending in person and streamed worldwide. It is the most prestigious conference and there is intense competition to get selected as a speaker. So I'm definitely humbled and proud to say that uh, one of my talk has been selected. Uh, so the schedules are not out yet. As soon as I know the date and time of my talk, I'll let you folks know so you can tune into the stream. For those of you who are going to reInvent, uh, can attend it and come say hi to me. Another news is end of October, uh, I will be doing a couple of public webinar from official AWS channel. Um, so one, one topic will be how to do event-driven architecture. Another topic will be how to migrate to manage container service such as ECS, EKS. Uh, so tip, trick, security, best practices, use cases, uh, covering all of those. If you came to me a few years back and told me that Raj, you will be going to Spain for work, you will be speaking at reInvent, you will be doing a public uh, official webinar from AWS, I would not believe you. I would have said that you are joking. So I wanted to share a couple of things that helped me. And if you follow these tips and tricks, I guarantee you, uh, you will transform your career as well. Uh, we humans always think about things that we cannot control. So things you cannot control are luck. Sometimes you will get unlucky. You have a big interview, but maybe the night before you did not sleep good. Or maybe you caught the interviewer in a bad mood. Uh, maybe uh, you got more questions that you did not know about. And sometimes it is possible that you may face discrimination. So you cannot control any of these things. But you should focus on the things that you can control. For example, you can study hard and learn the skills. You can note down the interview questions you struggled and think of the areas and then study those and prepare the answers. Showcase your skills. Create a GitHub repository. Write articles in Medium, LinkedIn articles. Post stuff that you are learning in LinkedIn, Twitter. Join some competitions such as Alexa competition or some other coding competition if you, if you are into coding, etc. to showcase your skills. When you look at others, uh, such as if you are watching my video or other folks uh, who make videos on YouTube, you only see the shiny stuff. You think that, wow, Raj is working in AWS, uh, everything must be great, etc. But the thing you don't see is all of us, including myself, had failures. I failed in interviews. But the only difference is the successful people learn from those mistakes and they don't let the things that they cannot control stop them from trying again. So personally, what I try to do is if I fail, I don't just sit for days and say, man, that was bad. I, I was unlucky. That was so unfair. Because just thinking about this cannot change the future. So instead, what I try to focus on is, all right, what can I learn from it? Study this hard and let's try again. I'll mention my favorite quote, which is, the master has failed more times than the beginner has ever tried. Next thing I wanted to address is, I get messages like, Raj, I'm a fresher, or Raj, I'm just learning cloud and I want to get on into AWS or one of these fan companies. So I wanted to say it's okay if you cannot get into AWS. 
So again, going back to just focusing on the shiny part, I am only in AWS for four years. 16 years that I was in IT before these four years, I was in non-FANG companies. I learned a lot. That experience was really valuable and I'm thankful to those jobs. And I'm also thankful and fortunate that I got into AWS. So getting into one particular company should not make or break you because then you put so much stress on yourself and if you don't get the job, it kind of stops your journey. If you are someone who is new to a particular area or cloud, DevOps, Kubernetes, you should not be trying getting into AWS or other fan companies. You should try, get some hands-on experience, know a little bit, and then try. I mean, it's okay if you try, but tell yourself that it's okay if I fail the interview because that's not end of the world. Other companies also pay well, you learn a lot, you make friends, so don't just hang up on one company. And uh, I feel like one of our human tendency is uh, the thing that we don't have, we always think that's the best. Uh, let's say you try to get into um, a fan company, you fail, you just don't go and try again next month. Get back, study hard, think about what went wrong, work in other companies, get experiences, and then try again after some time. And on that note, the one challenge is this YouTube, uh, Instagram, Udemy, they are filled with so many people trying to just sell courses and stuff. I only try to watch for the people who have actual experience in the field. Uh, like if I try to, let's say, learn a subject from a person who hasn't worked in that field, uh, so basically they're just Googling the concepts and just trying to teach and get viewers. So I personally try to avoid them uh, because their opinion really doesn't matter. So I'll give an example without naming names. So I saw this video that you need to learn Docker networking right now, which is total bullshit. It's a total waste of your time because in container world, based on the reviews and data, Kubernetes is the most popular and Docker is being removed from Kubernetes version 1.24. In the interviews or in real world projects, you do not face any Docker networking questions or challenges. You need to know part of Kubernetes networking, but the Docker networking is abstracted. So if you want to spend your time wisely, you should run away from learning Docker networking for hours and days and weeks and study Kubernetes. So again, this is from someone who is actually not working in Kubernetes or DevOps. They have a totally different background. So similarly, if you ask me, Raj, uh, I want to become a, a software developer in Amazon what topics should I study? My opinion does not matter. And I am not going to give you an opinion because I have not worked as a software developer in Amazon. So that's why I do stuff in Kubernetes, DevOps, serverless, I try to stick to those. Before you take some advice seriously and spend hours, days, weeks, first do your research to see whether the particular person has actual experience working in that field or not. I will end the video by saying, stay relentless. Uh, there is no substitute for hard work and discipline. Not all of us, including myself, are geniuses and super smart. But one thing that we can have is work hard. All these things, Kubernetes, DevOps, cloud, they're not rocket science. So you just build a habit of studying, uh, do some hands-on, have some self-discipline, practice interview, and do this for six months. And I promise you, your career will transform. Let me know what you think of what I talked about in the comments. Do you agree with me? Do you not like what I said? I just tried to give my unfiltered, honest input, as well as some of my personal update. All right, folks. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.